Wassily Kandinsky was a Russian painter and art theorist who lived from 1866 to 1944. He is considered one of the pioneers of abstract art, and his work was instrumental in the development of the movement. Kandinsky's art is characterized by bold colors, abstract forms, and a focus on emotional expression. Kandinsky was also an influential art theorist and writer, and he played an important role in the development of the Blue Rider movement and the Bauhaus School of Art and Design. His ideas about the spiritual and emotional power of art had a lasting impact on the art world, and he is still celebrated as one of the most important artists of the 20th century. Wassily Kandinsky was born on December 4, 1866, in Moscow, Russia. He was the son of a successful tea merchant and grew up in a wealthy family. Despite his family's expectations for him to pursue a career in law or business, Kandinsky showed an early interest in art and was encouraged by his art to pursue his passion. Kandinsky began his formal art education at the age of 30, after completing his law degree and working for several years as a legal clerk. In 1896, he enrolled in art classes in Munich, Germany, where he studied with Anton Abe and later with Franz von Stuck. Kandinsky's early art education was focused on traditional techniques, such as drawing and painting from life. He was influenced by the Impressionist and Fauvist movements, and his early work was characterized by bright colors and loose brushwork. Despite the influence of these movements, Kandinsky was already starting to explore more abstract forms in his work, experimenting with bold shapes and simplifying his compositions. This early experimentation laid the groundwork for his later work as a pioneer of abstract art. Kandinsky's early work was heavily influenced by the Impressionist and Fauvist movements, which were popular during the late 19th and early 20th centuries. Impressionism was characterized by its focus on capturing the fleeting effects of light and color in nature, while Fauvism emphasized the use of bold, vibrant colors. Kandinsky was drawn to these movements for their revolutionary approach to art, which challenged the traditional academic techniques he had learned in his early art education. He was particularly interested in the expressive potential of color, which he believed could be used to convey emotion and spiritual themes. In his early work, Kandinsky used bright, bold colors to create scenes of nature and everyday life, often incorporating loose brushwork and an emphasis on light and atmosphere. He also experimented with color theory, exploring the ways in which different colors interacted with each other to create different emotional effects. Although Kandinsky's early work was representational, he was already beginning to explore more abstract forms and compositions, foreshadowing his later work as a pioneer of abstract art. Overall, his early work reflects the influence of the Impressionist and Fauvist movements, but also demonstrates his own unique vision and experimentation with color and form. Wassily Kandinsky is widely considered one of the pioneers of abstract art, and his role in the development of the movement was significant. Kandinsky believed that art should not simply imitate the physical world, but rather should express the artist's innermost thoughts and emotions. Kandinsky's early experiments with abstract forms and compositions in his paintings, beginning in the early 1910s, marked a significant departure from the representational art that dominated the art world at the time. He began to explore more and more abstract forms, culminating in his first fully abstract painting, Composition V, which he completed in 1911. Kandinsky's work helped to pave the way for other artists who were interested in breaking free from representational art and exploring the possibilities of abstraction. He was part of a larger movement of artists who were questioning traditional approaches to art, and his ideas about the spiritual and emotional power of art helped to inspire new generations of artists. Overall, Kandinsky's role in the development of abstract art was significant not only for his own groundbreaking work, but also for the way in which he helped to inspire and shape the larger movement towards abstraction in the early 20th century. His legacy as a pioneer of abstract art continues to be celebrated and studied today. Wassily Kandinsky's move towards non-objective painting, or painting that does not represent recognizable objects, was a gradual process that began in the early 1910s. He had already begun to experiment with more abstract forms and compositions in his work, moving away from the traditional representational techniques he had learned in his early art education.
Kandinsky's interest in non-objective painting was fueled by his belief that art should be a spiritual and emotional expression of the artist's innermost thoughts and feelings. He saw abstraction as a way to free art from the constraints of the physical world and to tap into more universal and transcendent themes. Kandinsky's first purely abstract work, Composition V, was completed in 1911. The painting is a complex composition of shapes, lines, and colors that are meant to evoke a sense of movement and rhythm. Although the painting does not depict any recognizable objects, Kandinsky believed that it conveyed a sense of spiritual harmony and order. The creation of Composition V was a significant moment in Kandinsky's career and in the development of abstract art. It marked a departure from representational art and a shift towards a more pure and expressive form of painting. Kandinsky continued to explore non-objective painting in his later work, creating a diverse body of work that ranged from geometric abstraction to more organic and fluid forms. Overall, Kandinsky's move towards non-objective painting and the creation of his first purely abstract work were a significant moment in the history of art, marking the emergence of a new and revolutionary form of artistic expression. The Blue Rider was a group of expressionist artists founded by Wassily Kandinsky and Franz Marc in Munich, Germany in 1911. The group was named after Kandinsky's painting, Der Blau Rider, The Blue Rider, which he created in 1903 and was later used as the cover art for the group's almanac. The Blue Rider was founded as a response to the increasing commercialization and conservatism of the art world in the early 20th century. The group was dedicated to exploring new forms of artistic expression and promoting the spiritual and emotional power of art. Kandinsky played a central role in the Blue Rider, helping to organize exhibitions and events and contributing many of his own works to the group's exhibitions. He saw the Blue Rider as a way to unite artists who shared a common vision of art as a means of expressing the deepest and most profound aspects of human experience. The Blue Rider was also notable for its interest in non-Western art, particularly the art of the Far East. Kandinsky and other members of the group were drawn to the spiritual and mystical aspects of Eastern art, and sought to incorporate these influences into their own work. Overall, Kandinsky's involvement with the Blue Rider was a significant moment in the history of modern art. The group's dedication to exploring new forms of expression and promoting the spiritual and emotional power of art helped to shape the development of modern art in the early 20th century, and continues to influence artists today. During the period of his involvement with the Blue Rider, Wassily Kandinsky's work underwent significant changes. He became increasingly interested in the emotional and spiritual power of art, and began to explore new forms of expression and abstraction. Kandinsky's work during this period was heavily influenced by Expressionism, a movement that emphasized the artist's subjective experience and emotions over objective reality. Expressionist artists sought to convey the innermost feelings and experiences of the human soul through their work. In Kandinsky's work, this influence is evident in his use of bold colors, dynamic brushstrokes, and expressive forms. He began to move away from the more geometric forms and compositions of his earlier work, and instead embraced more organic and fluid forms that were meant to evoke a sense of movement and emotion. Kandinsky also became more interested in the use of symbolism and metaphor in his work, drawing on a wide range of influences from mythology and folklore to the art of the Far East. His use of symbols and metaphors was intended to convey a deeper and more universal meaning in his work, beyond the surface level of the painting. Overall, Kandinsky's work during his involvement with the Blue Rider was a significant departure from his earlier work, and marked a new direction in his artistic career. The influence of Expressionism helped to shape his ideas about the emotional and spiritual power of art, and his work during this period remains an important example of the movement's influence on modern art. Wassily Kandinsky's time at the Bauhaus School in Germany was a significant period in his career, and had a profound influence on the development of modern art and design. Kandinsky joined the Bauhaus in 1922 as a teacher of the preliminary course, which was designed to introduce students to the fundamental principles of art and design. At the Bauhaus, Kandinsky worked alongside other influential artists and designers, including Paul Klee, Joseph Albus, and Laszlo Mohoynadia. During his time at the Bauhaus, Kandinsky continued to explore his ideas about abstraction and the spiritual power of art. He developed a new approach to color theory, 
which he called the language of form and color, and worked on a series of abstract paintings that incorporated geometric shapes and bold, vibrant colors. Kandinsky's teaching at the Bauhaus was also influential, as he encouraged his students to explore their own creative impulses and experiment with new forms and techniques. He believed that art and design had the power to transform society, and encouraged his students to embrace the principles of functional design and social responsibility. Overall, Kandinsky's time at the Bauhaus was a significant moment in the history of modern art and design. His work and teaching helped to shape the development of abstract art and color theory, and his ideas about the spiritual and emotional power of art continue to influence artists and designers today. During his time at the Bauhaus, Wassily Kandinsky continued to explore and refine his ideas about abstract art, color theory, and the spiritual power of art. One of the most significant developments in Kandinsky's work during this period was his increased emphasis on geometric forms and abstract compositions. He began to incorporate more rigid, angular shapes into his work, moving away from the organic and fluid forms of his earlier work. He also began to experiment with new techniques, such as using a ruler and compass to create precise lines and shapes in his paintings. Kandinsky's use of color also continued to evolve during his time at the Bauhaus. He developed a new approach to color theory, which he called the language of form and color. This approach emphasized the emotional and symbolic power of color, and placed a greater emphasis on the interaction between different colors in a painting. In addition to his work as a painter, Kandinsky also continued to explore the potential of abstract art in other mediums, such as printmaking and theater design. He worked on a series of woodcuts and lithographs that incorporated his ideas about color and abstract composition, and collaborated with other Bauhaus artists on innovative theater productions that used abstract forms and colors to create immersive and emotionally powerful experiences for the audience. Overall, Kandinsky's time at the Bauhaus was a period of intense creativity and experimentation, and marked a significant moment in the development of abstract art and modern design. His continued exploration of the spiritual and emotional power of art helped to shape the development of modern art and design, and his legacy continues to influence artists and designers today. If you're interested in modern art and the development of abstract art in the 20th century, I highly recommend learning more about Wassily Kandinsky and his work. Kandinsky was a pioneer of abstract art and a leading figure in the development of modern art and design. His innovative use of color, form, and composition helped to redefine the boundaries of art and explore new ways of expressing emotion and spirituality. By studying Kandinsky's work, you can gain a deeper understanding of the principles of abstract art and the role that artists play in shaping our understanding of the world around us. You can also explore the cultural and historical context of Kandinsky's work, and gain insight into the social and political issues that shape the development of modern art in the 20th century. Whether you're an art lover, a student of history, or simply someone who is interested in exploring new ideas and perspectives, there is much to be gained from learning more about Kandinsky and his work. So I encourage you to dive in, explore his paintings and writings, and discover for yourself the richness and complexity of this influential artist's work. Thank you for watching this video on Wassily Kandinsky and his important contributions to the world of art. I hope that you found this discussion informative and inspiring. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more content like this, please consider subscribing to our channel. We are dedicated to bringing you informative and engaging videos on a wide range of topics, from art and culture to science and technology. By subscribing to our channel, you'll never miss out on new videos and updates, and you'll be joining a community of like-minded individuals who are passionate about learning and discovery. Once again, thank you for watching, and we look forward to seeing you in our next video.